We have stopped the practice immediately and we'll be looking for more appropriate methods. They work hard for you every single day. Their job is to serve with excellence and that's what they strive to do. He can't speak for himself. Those officers took advantage of a mentally ill black man. It's not the policy, it's the judgment of an officer or officers who don't understand the racial insensitivity of such a tactic. If they act quickly as they should, this isn't hard. The whole world is watching. The whole Thank you for coming out. I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. I can't wait to sit at the table and talk to you all one-on-one. -on -one. This is a cop-out. This is a cop-out. It just looked like a, a picture from the birth of a nation. I mean, it looked like a slavery picture. It looked like it was trying to incite the guttural reaction of slavery. I believe that the Galveston police targeted one of its most vulnerable to see if they could get information from him. And then, because they knew him, and they knew that he was mentally ill, that they mishandled him and probably broke the law. Especially if I was being African-American, it, um, not that we lived in that day and time, but we've all studied, we, we know the history. Um, and to think that in 2019, they saw fit for him to be treated like they would have treated us back then. Um, it's just very disturbing. I want those, I want justice to be served. I want those officers fired.